Hello folks, here's a quick what's in the box. This is the new Revell Snoptite Max uh, NASCAR Ford Fusion. Uh, this one here, they did the Brad Keselowski and the uh, Joey Logano cars to start, the Fords, uh, Penske Fords. Um, now this one says Blue Deuce on it for the number two. Um, because they can't make that dreaded alcohol advertising. They can't say light or Miller Light or Miller whatever. So they they can't advertise beer. So they have uh, they've called it the Blue Deuce. Now there's aftermarket decal guys that can take care of us for that. So uh, anyway, what we're going to do first, we're going to uh, and I'm going to stress with you, it's a snap tight, it's a snap tight Max. Uh, so let's just uh, take a little look. First of all, we have pre-decorated glass or pre-painted glass, which is always nice for around the. Uh, yeah, I hate doing that part of the uh, the painting, around the windows and stuff. That's just it's annoying. Okay, so never mind that. Here's the body. This is a NASCAR Ford Fusion. It's 24th scale. Um, it's yeah, 20. 13, 2014, 2015 season. The body hasn't changed much, if at all. Um, so this is it. Again, it's a snap. So there, are, it's a closed hood. It's, the hood is molded shut. Well, there's no separate hood. It's just molded on one piece because, well, there's no motor in there to look at. So, I, looking at it, you know what? I think they hit. They got it pretty good. Got it pretty good. Um, they have pre-painted. The blue line along the bottom that goes on the blue deuce and there's the rear end on the inside is just simple mounting posts and so you know what it's not bad it's it's molded in a just a slightly translucent white um, it's not pure white neither was the the race car I, I believe they're just a very fine pearl uh, pearl white, at least th this car is the main uh, light car, Miller light car, so um, it's just too translucent for me, so I gotta take mold lines out anyway, so it's it's gonna get painted. Um, I have a nice uh, pearl white, uh, anyway, I'll explain more later. A little window net that they've molded in, looks a little chintzy, but uh, it might be okay, we'll see. If it details out, um, I've already seen a build of this, and it details out actually quite nicely, so that's the body. That's the glass. Next up is the gray trees, which there's a chassis, a floor pan. Um, okay. It's apparently, according to the NASCAR experts, it's not correct for the Gen 6 NASCAR Ford Fusion. They molded it in a bottom of a, a motor, sort of. Why bother? But anyway. Um, it looks okay. It's it'll build. Um, we'll see. Uh, this is the actual f most of the f frame, the rear end, and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, it's very simplified. Some rear end stuff done here. Um, so whatever. I'm not disappointed. Uh, well, I'm. I this is what I expected. Um, for when they said what they, what they were making, eh, there's the top hoop and the uh, bars that come down the back window, and the dash and stuff. Eh. Dash is there's no markings on the dash whatsoever. It's a sticker, um, so you'll have to detail it out yourself. Um, now I Ravel mentioned or they announced that they were going to do this, and I, when I heard it was snap tight max okay well they're gonna try something there's an exhaust system that, you know it, we got base things that we need to build a shelf model um i think they're trying to get kids back into building so they've done something kind of simplified maybe overly simplified for us guys that have built lots of nascars um and there's your your door panels, your roll cage panels, on there's the insides, and there's the outsides. Again, a molded in uh, net. Hopefully it can be uh, detailed out a little, a little nicer. Um, some of the stuff you won't see because you put the body on it and 
As you see in this little bag here, there's screws. I think there's either there's probably four screws in there. But just screw the chassis to the body once you're done. A couple axles uh, for the wheels and tires to make it roll if you want to play. Like I said, again, they, they probably want the kids to get in it because, well, marketing is marketing. And let's get the kids building again and they'll buy stuff. They're, they are, they're our future uh, model builders. Um, for a spoiler and a seat... Um, well, spoilers, you know, spoilers kind of correct. Again, I'm not a super nitpicker. I, I, I don't like glaring errors for NASCARs. So, um, and this doesn't have glaring errors necessarily. It's just, uh, it's been done on the, the light side, the easy side. Steering wheel, there's some more black stuff. Uh, hoses and, uh, uh shifter and whatnot. Eh, again, they're, they're snap-in. I think properly detailed out you can make this look a little better tires and wheels uh, let's uh, press in and do your thing and put them on the axles and put it in the body and then go roll it around on the floor and crash into the cat um, or whatever you want to crash into crash into the other car they seem to do that quite often um, instruction sheet and stickers uh, they didn't they made stickers Again, Blue Deuce instead of Miller Light or Miller Genuine Draft or whatever Miller uh, stuff that uh, Mr. Keselowski carries. They just can't advertise that awful stuff. So, eh, anyway, and there's uh, no Goodyear markings for the tires because the Goodyear licensing um, with Ravel, they had a kerfuffle a few years ago. And um, from what I gather, Goodyear wanted a lot of money for uh, licensing to use the Goodyear name on the tire, so Ravel said, um, anyway, uh, we do have aftermarket decal suppliers. I don't have them in yet. I uh, missed the boat on ordering them, but I do have uh, a set coming that will make this correct car, or very close to correct on this car, as the, uh, as the Miller Lite car. Um, they're made by uh, Power Slide, available through Mike's Decals. Mike'sDecals.com. Um, there are a, there's two cars you can do with the sheet. It's uh, Luke Bryan. I guess Luke Bryan um, sponsored the car. He put his name on the car for advertising for an album or whatnot. Uh, and you can also do the regular standard car with it as well, the white car. So I'm not a country music uh, guy, so uh, I'll probably be just doing the regular car. Um, other than that, like I said, I it's. I don't think it's any worse than the AMT Car of Tomorrow. The you know it came out a few years ago. It's come out a few times, pre-decorated, whatnot. I don't think it's any worse. I think with a bit of detailing and make a fine shelf model. Um, I don't think you can win a contest with it unless you're a you know a ten year old in a junior class. Um, so maybe you have your kids, have your son, your daughter uh, squeeze one together, and um, you know maybe they can. They can see what NASCAR is like. Um, keep in mind that Ravel uh, has signed a three-year licensing agreement with NASCAR, uh, and they are going to, uh, after this release, uh, they claim they're going to, uh, or the, in the new year, they going to have a Chevy SS out. Uh, it's going to be the same chassis, and all that, I assume. They just have the Chevy bodies in it. I think it's licensed through Hendrick Motorsport. I can't remember, so... It'll be Jimmy Johnson and Junior and, um, oh, what's his name that retired? Uh, I'm not sure if they'll have anything. Um, I, now that he's retired, they'll probably have, um, really have Chase uh, Elliott stuff. Not sure. But uh, it'll be Hendrick stuff. And now, and they do say if these sell well enough that they're going to have glue kits. They'll have a detailed glue kit, um, but it all hinges on if these ones go out the door. So, you know what? Um, you want to build a few shelf models. I think uh, if if you can make a shelf model look decent, if you're happy with it, um, there will be aftermarket decals coming. From what I've uh, heard, there are plans to do a few. I don't know exactly which ones yet. I can't confirm certainly, but um, you know what? It, it's worth it. You know, even to buy one, buy two. I'm not sure what you like. Um, just to make some sales so that we can maybe get another glue kit we'll get some more glue nascar kits 
uh, coming down the road. But again, Ravel said it all hinges on how these sell. Um, also in the set, or in the, the first release, again, uh, this one's the Joey Logano car, which is the uh, Daytona 500 winner from 2015. Um, again, Ford Fusion, uh, Shell Pennzoil um, sponsorship, and you do get the, spe the, the Shell Pennzoil sponsorship because there's nothing wrong with those. You get the 22s. Uh, it's the same, again, same body inside, although it's it's molded in yellow, and it's got that ready orange uh, painted on already. Now, the problem with the release is, is that you see those black lines that separate the yellow from the ready orange? Yeah, well, Ravel didn't put those in. So it's uh, something you'll have to create on your own. Um, yeah, that's that's frustrating. But um, it doesn't look as great without those black uh, separation lines. So, yeah, you know, maybe wait for the decals. Uh, maybe somebody will do a corrected decal sheet. Um, other than that, I don't want to sound doom and gloom. You know what? They're uh, they're okay for what they are. Um, they're the start of something that uh, we haven't had a, a NASCAR uh, Monte Carlos, I think, in 2007 from Ravel Monogram. So it's been uh, seven, eight years now. Um, the body looks, again, the body looks really correct. Um, they are, uh, they're a 24 scale. It's, uh, they've gone back to Monogram Ravel size uh, rather than go down to 25th scale. So it'll fit back in with your stuff if you're an old NASCAR builder. Anyway, I'm blathering here because I'm just trying to trying to say that this is uh, what's out there right now, folks. So uh, give it a look. Uh, pick one up for yourself. Again, investigate the aftermarket decals that will be available. Like I said, Mike's uh, mikesdecals.com. Uh, there is uh, already one set, uh, again, to make this car correct for the light. And... Um, Again, I hear there's more coming through different, maybe some guys uh, you know, are doing the artwork right now. They wanted to wait and see the body so they can measure, make sure everything is hunky-dory. Uh, Mike offered this because he has a resin body as well. Um, I don't know how well those resin bodies will sell anymore because of, uh, because of this plastic body, but uh, he had the decals to go along with his resin body, so if you prefer that, uh, so be it. Uh, you would then use the old... 06, 07 Ravel Monte Carlo chassis that's got the motor, you know, got the, the, use that kit that's got the chassis, the motor, and everything in it, and use the resin body and open the hood and that kind of stuff, if that's what you want to do. But, um, again, this is what's here right now. It's a Snaptight Max Ford Fusion, NASCAR Ford Fusion, and the Chevys are coming. So hang in there, you Chevy freaks. Um, everything's coming. That's the review. It was going to be short, but I just kind of uh, got all windy and stuff. So that's it. Talk to you later, folks.